Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match, another Sackdoth versus God exhibition match. We have a lot of these. Sackdoth got a little bit annoyed after the last game that I cast with him, and he wanted to see a lot of games with him and God because apparently they were really good games, and he wasn't lying. They have been pretty good games so far, so I assume that trend will continue. Let's see how that goes. So God starting on the west side of the map with Cloakies, and this is Forgotten Crossing, by the way. It's pretty, actually very, very pretty map. Light Beagles coming up from Sackdoth. It's a very pretty map, a very flat map, so it's one that you're going to be seeing a lot of vehicles or vehicle play on. It does have some choke points right here and here and here, and there's these bridges over to the north as well. Very important things to bear in mind. Well, Sackdoth is going very quickly for builders, not actually getting very quick harassment units going for slashers instead so he wants to defend while god is definitely going for an early raid getting early glaives as you typically do with cloakies and sending that in so he's going to be dealing a fair amount of damage the slasher however will be coming up no not quite sactoth is out of energy not enough power his commander not morphing he's getting a bunch of windmills but they are only producing half a power unit each so he does not have the power to build the slasher before the glaive comes in so god's going to be able to get the harassment going Thanks to that lack of power, unfortunately for Sackdoth. And God, however, able to get rid of one of the melee strategies before this slasher is completed. Possibly two, but probably not. Sackdoth will be able to get rid of that, but God not even going for it. Able to just take one metal extractor for free, and now Sackdoth's power has come online. Does have 1.6 win for each, but still that, or power for each windmill. But that was pretty painful, I'm sure, for Sackdoth. Like, very, very painful, I'm sure. However, he does have a slasher set up, so further raids like this will be difficult to pull off. And Scythe's perfect counter coming in from God. Scythe will be able to take out the slashers before it even becomes an issue. They just walk right up to them and just cut them open. And that will just be it for those slashers. Well, God pushing his luck a bit, losing one of his glaives. Not the biggest deal, but still, he did lose that and didn't get anything for it. So that's... Small win for Sackdoth, but the Scythe coming in is the big deal. That's going to be the real story. Once that comes in, although admittedly a couple more are coming in behind that. But once that comes in, that will be huge. That will basically determine the game at this point. God, how well he can use those Scythes, and God being God, I imagine it's going to be fairly well. But yes, how well he can use those Scythes is going to determine this game. Because the Scythes are going to be able to get up to the Slashers and just tear them apart. And slashers are apparently all that Sackdoth is building right now. He's just going for a hard slasher push. Not going for any scrubbers, sorry, any scorchers or you know, lever levelers or ravagers will be later on. Actually, Sackdoth wouldn't be surprised if he went from there to dominatrices. Now going for a couple darts, but I find not uncommon to go for dominatrices afterwards. And enough glaives getting into one of the out of position slashers. And another slasher, well, group of three slashers here, they are going to be scythe food pretty soon if God's... Well, he got to be careful about that, because he doesn't want to lose his scythe too early. I mean, he wants to make sure that he's picking off lone slashers. Or rather, picking off a lone mason, and this slasher was not in position to fire yet, and is going down. It was alone. Nicely done by God there. And God, I don't think, has radar up... No, not to that point. He has radar, but it's further back. Sackdoth has no radar whatsoever. He does have radar actually built up right now, so he does know about forces coming in about the middle of the map. He knows about this scythe, or at least he did until it went cloaked, but he is losing a lot of slashers at this point, and soon to lose the radar as well. So, God, nice use of slashers there. Do we see a change? We do see a change in tactics from Sackdoth. He is switching over to Scorchers to try to get rid of the slashers directly, give them fewer tasty targets, and also have forces that can actually attack while moving, so they can avoid the slashers while trying to kill them. Sorry, avoid the scythes while trying... I want to call them slashes because that's what they do. Because the scythes cut things. Although, admittedly, they're... I find this weird. We have glaives, which fire plasma rifles, and scythes that wield glaives. And slashers that fire missiles. The names... I'm not going to lie, are a little bit confusing. However, the scrubber... Sorry, the scorcher... Intel has been a bit of a long day here. We had a massive hovercraft game earlier, and that was... That was full of scrubbers. But anyway, scorcher here is not going to be able to do that much damage, unfortunately for it. And these lone masons are being torn apart by the sides at the same time. In the center of the map, the glaives, God's glaives, are taking some damage from Scorchers, but they're basically just baiting them into the laser turret and distracting the scythe, but 
That Scorcher is going down. There is no laser turret here, however, this Mason not able to build. And another Scythe in the main base, taking out the factory. Sc Scorcher's trying to do what they can, but it's still very difficult for them to get around. And the thing is, they aren't dealing a whole lot of damage to the size. Able to kill one of them, though, but one of the size is going to get rid of this metal extractor. Might be enough. There it goes. Gets rid of the Scorcher. Able to get rid of the windmills. Saktoth, at the same time, is doing a bit of a hard push along the south side of the map. Getting some defenses. Now, God has set up the center of the map. Has decent defenses as well. But Saktoth will probably go along the south side. Might try to take the south side entirely. That would be interesting. Take all the metal along the south side of the map. But at this point, he really needs to worry about defending his base. But God has come in with Glaives. And that, trying to do what he can to get rid of the Scorcher. But unfortunately, the Scorcher got stuck on wreckage. And there goes the light vehicle factor taking the Scorcher inside with it. As well as a couple of the windmills. That looks like it is going to be game. I don't think Saktoth has any real options at this point. He might try to rebuild using his commander at the center of the map. He does have a slasher. He is able to get rid of some of the stuff in the center. So it's not completely over yet. Saktoth still has a bit of a chance. But he is going to be fighting an uphill battle now. He's got his slasher set up. He is starting. To get, he is actually taking the center of the map pretty well. But the problem is all these glaives just running around with impunity. And the slashers... Sorry, the slashers. The size. Size running with impunity. The slasher is not able to do too much. Slasher over here. In case I'm confusing any of my viewers, slashers are these trucks here. The missile firing trucks. Those are slashers. Size are these cloak things here that go and kill everything. Including, and most importantly, the slashers. Just to make that clear, that's the way it is set up. I might be confusing some of the viewers who aren't as familiar with 0k. I apologize. Anyway, sides are not going to have an easy time getting into this base here. The lasers are nicely covering each other. And Sackdoth does not have a factory at this point. God scouring the south side of the map just to make sure that there isn't anything set up. Nothing he has to worry about. And no, he doesn't. He's checking all the metal extraction points. And the geothermal vents over to the south as well. He doesn't see anything there, so... He's not too worried, but he st should still check that, but no, it doesn't matter. Saktoth has thrown in the towel, so that is a shorter game than I expected. Wow, okay, so, yeah, that was, that was short. Hope you enjoyed that, and I think that will be it for me today. Yeah, I think that's going to be all for me today. My throat's starting to get kind of sore. So I hope you enjoyed those casts, and thank you all for watching. Have a good night.